to do a quick review of chip drop and then do a quick walk around uh, this part of the property it'll be more of a permaculture uh, fruit tree guild uh, more design and thought will go into what I plant here and how I design it uh, primarily with all right now getting back on track these are the wood chips that were dropped off by chip drop just one local arborist dropped all these off and I started against the fence I bought some a roll of plastic four mil thick and wrapped it around and I just stapled it I had a hammer stapler and I stapled it all to there and hopefully I don't think I'll be stopping all the weeds but uh, at least I'm protecting that fence from you know rotting out wood to wood which is what my neighbor was worried about and this for a guild like that's going to be the centerpiece of my fruit tree guild as we move along but I'll add one here you know for example and I'll add them throughout this area I have walkways that go through and it'll just be you know probably use you know micro clover or something like that to try and make them shorter you know so I don't have to grow the um, cut the grass I'll have some sort of ground cover there that's more manageable and then like for example here I'll have an angled uh, guild right there just to kind of mix things up I like the idea of having pathways in an area that seems bigger than it is because sight lines off and, and one of the big things I have here is this big maple. We're going to get that topped here uh, coming up soon. So I'll let in a lot more sun to these six pine trees that I just... That's, um, you know, a nice enough way to get some trees and all the neighbors. Alright, first off, apologize for the editing. I had to do a bit of a voiceover and the video that I shot was... I just had a, a few moments to spare when I was over there. The um, chip drop um, that I use is just the website, and I signed up to get a delivery to my house. And it took them a year before there was actually an arborist in the area that uses that service. Uh, I had a pretty, I don't know, a pretty good description of where to drop the wood chips, and I had a $40 donation attached to that request. You have to renew it every month, and when they finally we're going to drop stuff off they took the forty dollars uh, and then they had a problem dropping off the wood chips so that, that was kind of a bummer but i was talking with the guy got their cell phone number and they ended up dropping it off or they ended up they took the money and they kept talking about having plans of dropping off wood chips again they were just busy in different towns etc um when i changed the dresses because i just have that little lot whatever on the in the same city just on the other side of town they immediately were there to drop it off. They didn't take the separate $40 for the second request. And I talked to the guy and I said, we'll just keep dropping off wood chips as long as you want. And they got to like five or six drops. And so everything with chip drop worked well. Um, when they were dropping off, my neighbor was, was there and he was asking, he was wondering if they're like illegally dumping wood chips. And they said no. And uh, they said it was requested by the by the owner of the property and so he gave me a call and he was he was a bit surprised and wasn't sure how to take um all these wood chips and he was, he's a nice enough guy and we talked about what we were going to do and we were going to compromise and this and that which which makes sense to me he wants something that's more uh, traditionally manicured type of lawn or whatever and the only compromise i could really come up with was doing a more systematic fruit tree guild permaculture style where we're crowding out all the grass with um, with cardboard and doing wood chips over that I'll do that throughout the summer I'll just keep adding on and on and on I wanted to put those six pine trees up front because I had 20 pine trees that I took plant so that seemed like a good t good thing and I was also going to trim get that maple tree that's up front that's shading out that whole area trimmed so uh, there won't be too much competition for the next couple years on those and also I wanted to mention the plastic that I put along the fence in the back he, the neighbor was really worried about the wood chips being against that fence and rotting it out and 
makes sense. I mean, makes sense to me. So I just went to you know one of the regular hardware stores and got a roll of four mil plastic, twenty bucks, whatever it was, fifty feet. And I, I might still get another roll and then finish off the left. That left, I guess it'd be your left. Anyways, the left of the camera view. Do the rest of that fence line and do that. And I was thinking about just putting different berry bushes and things like that. But um, one of the the main people that I see on YouTube is um, a channel called Canadian Permaculture Legacy. There's a lot of other ones. There's a James Prigioni and, and Back to Eden and um, all sorts of different. Edible Acres is another really good one. There's so many different good sites, but uh, the Canadian Permaculture Legacy really breaks down what a permaculture tree guild is. and It's all about supporting, uh, basically blanking out the the land to get rid of all the grass and stuff that you don't want and then consciously and systematically adding the plants that is going to support that you know that ecosystem so we'll see a lot more from that and um, and another thing the if you are ever thinking about doing the sheet mulching if you've seen my other videos you can see that I've done a couple pathways here it is uh, and it it's it's an extreme amount of work. So anybody that does a huge plot and sheet mulches it with, you know, themselves or with friends, whatever, my hats are off to them. I've had help over here, and, and it's um, it is well beneficial. There's other ways to sheet mulch. Um, well, there's other ways to mulch or to control or to plant things like that. I think it has its uses, and in this property uh, that I just showed you, that's what I'll be using primarily. But it's going to be more contained, smaller areas, bits and pieces at a time, at least like area by area by area, um, and just kind of design it like that. As far as doing the whole area, it would, it would be back-breaking work, it wouldn't be fun, which is why I would want to plant anything anyways, because it's fun and it provides me food, etc. And um, But no, overall, the chip drop worked. I, of course, don't have any open requests right now because I had troubles bringing it up to my house. And there's plenty of wood chips over there. I've already gone back to that property and grabbed a, a few loads and brought it over to friend's house and things like that. So uh, it's perfectly fine where it is. I'm showing progress on the property. So neighbors and my, you know, other people that live on that street see that there's some sort of progress and I have some sort of, you know, the owner cares about it. It's not just a derelict property. And um, that's really the, the biggest concern um, as long as it seems like as long as property looks like it's being maintained and looked after and the you know the grass that is still there is being cut you can kind of see how I cut around the the wood chips it looks at least it looks like it's being taken care of so nobody's you know they're pretty fine um, but anyways uh, thank you for watching again um, getting better at editing slowly and uh, thanks again for watching. Bye.